This little guy is coming so far. He's still licking his lips. Are that. tight. That's doing, he's doing great. He's not nervous when he takes oats. So exciting. There you go. All right, guys, Dan's working with Juliet. And she's only had, what, maybe three or four sessions so far? Yeah, she's been pretty easy. We haven't done much with her yet because we've been working with the three. And the reason we're really, really starting to work with her now is... Her front foot has a big crack in it. Ready? Nose. Look at that. So I'm guessing you've not tied it yet because this is the first time. So we're just pretending to put it on to begin with. I'm going to do some pretend knot tying over here. Okay. So pretend knot tying would just be that hand motion that you would make when you're going to tie it. And the reason we're not tying it on yet is if she gets too nervous, she can just... She can move away and she's not stuck with that on so when you first start to introduce the halter don't tie it right away we want to make sure they're comfortable before we do this is about the fifth time i've had it on her now so last five minutes five times and again we've not worked with her very much we've been mostly working with the two old men and abby look at that now he's got it tied on good job now i'm just gonna go back and take it off Lots of praise, keeping this a good situation. Now I have another video out there to what to do if things go wrong, where Paul put one on, but um, Romeo, but he was still pretty nervous and then Romeo didn't want him to be near him. Yeah, you don't want to sneak it on. Yeah. So if, if that happens and you want to see, check out that video. She says I'm a little bit nervous. And again, the reason we're doing this with lots of time now is she got a crack in her foot. She's got a big gape in it. We got to get that fixed up. And we talked to our farrier and he's going to come over and help us um, because she's not going to be ready for a stranger to do anything with her, but we're going to work with her lots and get her ready for that. And then he's just going to walk us through it because we are not farriers. This is the first time I've ever worked with her. First time Dan's ever worked with her. She got a good mind. She's a smart girl. She is. She is a good girl. Mm -hmm. Originally, we were going to let four hang out while we got the first three trained, but due to Juliet's foot here, there's been a change of plans. Keep watching so you can get an update on the 17-year-old and see how far he's come. He's doing amazing. It is such a good feeling to have the hay put up for the year. These giant square bales that we've been working with have been pretty free of dust. I have a horse that's very sensitive to any dust and he's been doing really well on this hay and it's a little bit harder to work with but we don't have to stack everything by hand. There's one bale in this load that has some black on it that we'll have to cut out and just work around that which is no problem. We can do that but having the hay put up for the year is such a great feeling. Now I'm going to be getting ready to make a video about how to like feed, what kind of things to watch for if an animal is not feeling well. And I'm not a vet, guys, and I'm not an expert with this, but I'll just be going over the things that I've experienced. So watch out for that video. I'm getting ready to make it pretty soon here. And if you guys have questions, as always, send them in. I love to hear your questions or stories, and I'll always do my best to help any way I can. I hope you guys are having fun with your own donkeys and enjoying this series as we watch these guys go from scared to tame. Are you so curious? You are so curious now. You're always curious now, aren't you? You have very knowing eyes. Very knowing eyes. I think you have a lot of stories. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. There you go. Oh, are you curious? Are you so curious? All right, guys, I switched sides and now I'm on his right side. And that was scary to him, so I matched steps, backed in around him. 
And now the first step is gonna be, are you comfortable enough to eat oats from my hand? Now, when they're really nervous, sometimes you wanna have a giant handful. There he comes. There. And then after he can eat those oats from my hand and be comfortable, we'll start adding more to this. Now he says that he's ready. He's curious. He's checking me out. Now, if he's leaning away, when I go to touch him, I'll step back. Deep. Okay. If he leaned away, though, I would just step away from him and say, oh, I see you're nervous. Here's your pay, buddy. And it's okay if it takes them a little bit of time to decide that they want it. I'm just going to hang out and wait. I just love how far he's coming though. Oh, and I loosened his neck tag here. So that's all nice and loose now, just playing with that. Oh, hello. Are you curious? Are you curious? I have, I have my oat pouch on guys. I'm gonna put a link in the description for my favorite one because this is not it. And there's one that's just awesome. All right, let's try to pet you again. Deet. Deet is the word to let him know that pay is coming. And then the next step, we want them to know that deet means pay is coming or whatever word you're gonna use. And then I want him to know to stand still for the countdown. So we'll try that. Are you ready? So while his head is straight away, he says he's not too ready yet. So if I wait for him to put his head towards me a tad, that shows me that he is now ready. Are you ready? See how his head just came towards me a tad? I'm waiting for a little bit more. There we go. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Now, when I start this, I'll count super fast to help him be comfortable and be able to make it. And then as it goes on, we can draw out the countdown really slow. Uh, 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 uh.